40-year highs in Liberal food inflation is forcing more families into food banks than ever. Yesterday, the PBO said the savings the Liberals are claiming aren't transparent and has the Finance Minister looking more like Pinocchio. She's out to lunch while Canadians have to skip lunch. Will the Finance Minister show some compassion and cancel the cruel triple, triple, tripling of taxes on groceries? Now, the Prime Minister doing the complete opposite of what he promised he would not do. Now, a constituent of mine recently suggested this Prime Minister is basically a real-life Pinocchio. Now, that comment troubles me, Madam Speaker. But when you look sincerely, when you, when you look Canadians sincerely in the eyes, and you promise something that you have zero intention of delivering on, how do you let that go? How do you say, that's okay? This morning I wrote to the Prime Minister asking him to provide parliamentarians with a security briefing over his allegations about the alleged interference by the government of India and how alleged convicted assassin and Liberal insider Jasper Latwal was given access to the Prime Minister's delegation because those allegations made in Parliament an enormous damage to Canada's credibility and the Prime Minister's. So will he provide Parliament with the evidence in a briefing or is this him using the Donald Trump damage control playbook of self-serving political Pinocchioism. Well, Mr. Speaker, another example of liberal incompetence, the mismanagement of the Pinocchio affair. Two senior ministers contradicted the Minister of Public Safety at committee, testifying that no police force had specifically requested the Emergency Measures Act. The President of the Privy Council and the Minister of Emergency Preparedness said that they are not aware of any recommendation from law enforcement. There seems to be division in the liberal camp, Mr. Speaker. The Minister of Public Safety has lost the confidence of his own colleagues. When will the Prime Minister demand his resignation? One moment, please. I'd like to remind members that in the House, we try to ensure that there are intelligent speeches, but calling each other names, that's not something I like to see in this House. Well, Mr. Speaker, it seems that Pinocchio is the new pseudonym of the Minister of Public Safety. He recently made a statement in this House that is totally false. He said, we invoked the Emergency Measures Act after receiving advice from law enforcement. But federal and municipal law enforcement confirmed that they never made that recommendation. And now he's talking nonsense and hoping Canadians will forget about the whole matter. My question, was he acting on his own or was he following the PM's orders? I'd like to remind members that we cannot do indirectly what we can't do directly. And when you do things indirectly that are not acceptable, as I said earlier, as I've said before, it's a problem. And so it, one ends up deserving uh, being heckled. Mr. Speaker, in terms of public finance, this Prime Minister has less credibility than others. In 2015, Canadians were able to become house owners, and, but inflation from this Prime Minister has made access to housing impossible. Things cost twice as much, and interest rates will continue to rise. Can the Prime Minister admit that his promises are empty words and help Canadians from the youngest to the oldest and give them a break. The Liberals had promised to, to end uh, subsidies for fossil fuels, but they're continuing. They even took $4.5 billion to buy an old pipeline. The Liberals had promised also for all energy projects there would be a climate assessment, but now we've learned that ex the Trans Mountain expansion will not be subjected to that. And so I have a question because each time the Prime Minister says something, we see the opposite. Do the Liberals realize that in the fight against climate change, they really resemble Pinocchio a great deal? I would encourage the Honourable Member to choose his words carefully. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's just like Pinocchio's nose. The investigation into the Minister of Fisheries is getting longer. Now we know that the Minister ordered a business owner to back out of a partnership with Clearwater so that they could, they could work with the company belonging to a brother of one of his Liberal colleagues, 
company's premium seafoods. Will the minister confirm these facts so that his nose doesn't get any longer?